Welcome back to Airbus Review SA. Today we've got the Vyrach HW97 in blue laminate here with us today. When you unbox this one, so I'm not going to show you, it just comes in a normal little box like this. Uh, it's got a little manual in it and yeah, that's about it. And it comes nicely wrapped in a piece of plastic. So, upon looking at this Springer air gun, these things are pretty decently made. I'm not gonna lie. It definitely, definitely, you can look up, it, it's, if you have a look at it in real life and feel it and you can feel the quality. The build quality is, it's impeccable. It really is. Um, so I took it out of the box, felt the weight. It is pretty heavy, which is quite nice for a Springer. Not very heavy, but it's a bit heavy. So that means it will reduce the recoil, which is a good thing. On the Springer, we have put on a scope here, as Peter mentioned, uh, when we installed the scope mount, get a one-piece scope mount. This gun only accepts scopes, uh, no front open sights, whatever, maybe a red dot sight if you need, but yeah. So we put on the scope, a discovery scope, which is quite clear. And we are shooting these QYS pellets once again. They are the domed, they are the 8.48 grains. These things are pretty decent. They're very, very accurate. And then obviously you can also use your exact Diablo, which is 8.44. So those ones also pretty do, they do pretty well. So we're gonna go and do a five shot grouping down at 50 meters. And we're gonna check how this beautiful air gun performs. Um, it is an under lever, which means if you have a look at this, it's got like a little button in the front you push and then you pull down this lever to cock it then this breech opens up and you can put in your pellet and this is a fixed barrel which means you'll get the most accuracy out of a fixed barrel you do get these uh, Springer guns that have got a breakneck barrel that are accurate but you pay a lot of money for them uh, like all the Vyrochs they are pretty darn accurate but in my opinion I like the fixed barrels it's just more um, forgiving meaning it's more sturdy uh, yeah so when I looked at the trigger the trigger blade even has some stippling and cut out on it so it will fit nicely on your finger so you won't slip off it um, it has got an adjustable trigger here in the back but trust me from the box to shooting it is superb I like it like that and then obviously it's got a man, it's not a manual safety, it's got an um, auto safety. So every time you cock it, you have to then reset your safety off to shoot. So it is a nice feature, you know, especially if you're a little um, wanting to teach your little kids on how to shoot air guns. This is the best way to start with. I mean, these guns are flipping nice and they're accurate. And um, yeah, so let's go check out that fast shot grouping does. And let's smash it out of the park. Uh, yeah, just getting uh, some chat regarding the mounting of the scope. So first of all, before you mount your lunch bar in the rails, be very sure that you put down your lockdown pin. You'll see this one has a, mount, a lockdown pin in the front and the rear of the scope mount. Sometimes I've noticed some clients have that thing, uh, the lockdown pin screwed all the way down and they can't clamp their scope onto the dovetail rail of the receiver. So just something important, make sure you have the lockdown pin screwed down and Virach have um, conveniently machined or milled, um, drilled the, the top rail of this gun with three areas where you can lock down the screw. So you just screw it down uh, after you've um, obviously aligned it and tightened up your side mounts and um, that will um, prevent your scope from sliding in the on the rail um, with recoil on spring guns um, and I always recommend you use a one-piece mount don't try use two individual mounts on a spring gun because of the recoil even though this doesn't have excessive recoil because of the heavy weight of the specific gun uh, all, all the Virachs are quite heavy, um, but yeah, just getting back to that, uh, something very unique and important to focus on, um, when you do buy a field target type Springer like this, is a specifically uh, designed for field target shooting, uh, make sure you get a mount that's got a, a built-in bubble level for 
preventing you from canting obviously um, because your trajectory is quite arced uh, shooting at various ranges with this velocity the, the trajectory is quite arced and canting can definitely uh, give you a different point of impact when you shoot at various distances it's important to get something like that Like I mentioned, okay, so I'm here at 50 meters. I'm going to shoot a five shot grouping um, and let's see how I can do. So remember, never hold it here on the front. When you've got it on the bench, hold it here always at the back and then don't grip it. Hold it with your thumb straight up. And then let's fly with the pellets downrange. Seven. Okay, 707 feet per second. Remember, it is a 16 joule gun. Got a scope on it. And let's let the pellets fly. Five. I want to say that this springer's trigger is pretty smooth, straight from the box, I really like it. Um, the noise of it, you only hear the spring hitting against the gun. You do get loud springers out there, but this one is not that loud, which I really, really enjoy shooting. Um, let's check there. Hmm. Not bad. Didn't pick up the crony right there. But this is pretty cool. Something different, guys. Really, really, it's nice. It's quite fun to shoot, to be honest. 600. 84. So it, it's all going down to how you pull the trigger, how you put it against your face. Like Peter said in the previous video, it's all about like when you shoot a bow. It's like where you put your head against the butt stock here at the back and how you hold it and how you pull the trigger. You need to do the follow through. 600. 89. Look at that. That's not bad. For a 50 meter grouping, that's pretty decent. And for a springer, that's darn good. I mean, there's a lot of people that will say they'll do better. It's fine. You can do it. But um, yeah, I'm still getting used to shooting springers because I don't shoot a lot of springers. We shoot a lot of PCPs. But um, yeah, I'm not going to make any excuse. I just need to have some more practice. Or do a lot of shooting with these springers and I'm loving it. It's way different. It's a whole different ball game. But it's so fun. Especially when you shoot them with the open sight. So let's go have a look at that grouping downrange. So this is my grouping. Five shot grouping at 50 meters with the H97. Um, HW97. Look there. So there's a five shot grouping. One, two, three, four, five. I've got right there and that was my aim point which is not too bad for a springer so yeah I'm pretty excited so let's go see what else we can do with that gun okay so I got my spray can down there 50 meters I'm gonna shoot it with one of these JSB's 8.44's let's go see how it does this is where it becomes fun Oh, that was amazing. Okay, 
so I'm going to shoot the balloon down there. Let's go have a look how this one does. Wow, that was a pop. This guy, <laughs> that was a pop, really. I mean, even if we shoot pigeons, that's gonna be the, about the same size. It's gonna smash them out of the park. Well, that was pretty good. See how fun this is. One more, I'm gonna shoot this, co this cauldron can. I'm gonna shoot this one, shake it up a little bit, shoot it from the ba behind you. Let's see what it does. Okay, so round number three. This is gonna be the cauldron can. It's gonna be a good reactive target. I shook it up there a little bit and uh, it's got a lot of gas in it now. My goodness, if you saw that through the scope, I think you will see it now when I play it in slow-mo, how that looks. The thing is, I'm having so much fun out here. You can as well, you could too. Um, just come and buy yourself a Springer like this and you can have the whole day you have to shoot. I mean, you don't have to worry about filling it up with a dive cylinder. All you do is you just need to get yourself some pellets and you just need to get some power to load this thing and then you'll be able to shoot the whole day without any problems and um, I personally think definitely this needs to go into my arsenal uh, this is definitely very nice to shoot with and it's fun it's super fun look at that I mean you don't get better than that man you do actually but not as good as this this is so much more fun because it's it's tricky it's it's not easy it's it's you need to know it's a skill so yeah but anyway more of that guys if you like this please share and subscribe to Everest Review SA and uh, we'll see you in the next one and I hope you guys enjoyed this Springer video if you did please comment down below and let us know what's next so yeah see you guys again have a good one. Bye.